Thank you very much. Good morning. My name is Mark Connolly. Uh, normally, I'm the host of Evanston AM on CBC Radio, but uh, today and the next two days, I'm going to be your master of ceremonies, so it's my pleasure to be here with you this morning. Uh, it's also my pleasure to welcome you to the second annual Learning Symposium on Enhancing Employment for Persons with Disabilities. And I thank you very much for taking part. Uh, we have with us today more than 400 employers, service providers, agencies, associations, academics, educators, community groups, government staff, Albertans with disabilities, and their families. If you don't fit into one of those categories, just put up your hand and I will add you to the program. <laughs> now I'm sure that uh, everybody here is very, very motivated to be part of today's event uh, over the next two days, so we thank you very much for being part of it. And I think it's going to be very enlightening and uh, very helpful as you go forward. We have hundreds of virtual participants as well who are joining us through a live webcast from across the country. So if you could just turn around and wave to that camera back there, they will all see you on the webcast, yeah. So we're grateful that you've decided to join us today to explore new ways that we can create more employment opportunities for Albertans with uh, disabilities, uh, opportunities to enhance their lives through work and to make our communities more welcoming to all Albertans and all these people who are involved. The symposium organizers have assembled an impressive two-day agenda of experts and interactive sessions that so they hope you'll find both informative and inspiring. And when we say interactive, that means that almost at every instance, we want you to be interactive with our guests here. So as you're listening, think about the questions you can ask, because there's almost always a Q&A following everyone. The whole uh, focus of the symposium is to spur new ideas, share best practices, and inspire change. So if you have an idea that is maybe inspired by what somebody says, please share it during that time. Now I realize we are spread out across the whole hall, uh, but you can see me up on the big TV screen, which is nice. Now that I'm in radio, I don't get on TV that much, so it makes me feel a lot better. I uh, just have one important housekeeping note for you all, regardless of where you've parked here at the hotel, either using the surface parking or the parkade, you need to register your license plate at the hotel front desk to avoid having your car towed. Not right now. Don't run off. But uh, if you do want to have a car to go home with tonight, you have to do that sometime today. So maybe during the coffee break, you can vi visit the front desk. And maybe if there's a few of you at the table, you can have one person appointed to do that. So we're ready to get started. Is everybody ready to go? Full of energy? Full of had your coffee? That's good. Please join me in welcoming to the stage the Honorable Naresh Bardwaj, Associate Minister of Services for Persons with Disabilities. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mark, and good morning, everyone. It is an absolute honor and a privilege to be here this morning to bring greetings on behalf of our Premier, Dave Hancock, and all of my colleagues from the Alberta Legislature. Joining us here today is Stephen Kahn, my good friend from St. Albert. We spent a full day in St. Albert yesterday. Mayor had a wonderful celebration, and there was also a celebration for autism in one of the schools. So very, very nicely done, Steve, and thank you for your participation. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you're here in person today or you're many, many people, hundreds of people who are joining us over the telephone, from the bottom of my heart, I want to take the opportunity to say thank you to be part of this fantastic event this morning. You're here because your commitment and dedication to ensuring equal opportunity for all Albertans. Opportunities that come from being included in the communities. Opportunities that come from being able to use your skills and talents. Opportunities that come from earning a paycheck and contributing to Alberta's economy. Everybody has a, and has a skill and ability they can contribute to the workplace and to the communities. Ladies and gentlemen, 13% of Albertans identify themselves as having disability of some sort. And that is pretty close to half a million people. That's about half a million people who are able and willing to contribute. That does 
make sense that this significant portion of our population not to have a job if they're willing and able to work. A few other numbers that we need to think about. There are approximately, every single day, we have 300 people moving to this province. Every single day, 65 Albertans are turning 65. That is every single day. And by all conservative estimates, in the next eight to 10 years, we're going to be short over 114,000 people. And here's a talent, 13%, more than half a million people who are able and willing to work. Would you have 13% of your workforce do nothing or sit around or to be unproductive? It is not acceptable. So, there are thousands of people who are eager. We need to explore innovative ways to use their skills and create supports and environment, but enhancing employment opportunities for people with varying abilities will require a cultural change. By all who are part of the community, that includes the government, the employers, educators, service providers, families, and of course, people themselves who have disabilities. This cultural shift will take time, and we know that. It will take a commitment from all involved to maintain momentum, and we test and refine new ways of working together. Since I was sworn in as an Associate Minister of Services for Persons with Disability in December, I have been focused on how we can improve the quality of life for Albertans with disabilities. I have met with many individuals and families and learned about their challenges and their achievements. I've been motivated by what I've heard, that people with disabilities want to contribute, to make a difference, to work and be part of a team. I have learned from businesses, business owners, and companies that are actively seeking out new pools of potential workers to fill vacant positions. These industry leaders are willing and eager to help find work for people who may have barriers to employment. We formed a private sector employment council to advise us on how we can encourage and enable employers to hire more people with disabilities. We also formed a public sector employer, employer council to explore ways so how we increase the diversity in Alberta's public sector. One of the things I've been discussing with these councils is my belief, which is equal pay for equal work. Just because you have a disability, it doesn't mean your work and contribution should have any less value. That's why I have been actively, actively working with Minister Thomas Lukasik. There's a section 67 of employment standard, which talks about that you can pay less than a minimum wage to a person with disability. That section, ladies and gentlemen, has not been used for over a decade. So my suggestion to the minister is, since it hasn't been used, let's get rid of it. Employers don't want it. People don't want it. Equal pay for equal work, and that only makes sense. So that is what we're committing to. Although, I've heard loud and clear my travels across the province that people are willing, able to modify their workplaces so we can hire with people with disabilities. And if you are contributing to someone's bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line is you should have the equal opportunity and you should be paid equally. What we're doing as a, what are we doing as a government? This question is often asked. You're asking all the employers, all the public sector that you should be doing something, you should be doing this. What are we doing as a government? So this afternoon, Premier Hancock is going to be here to make some exciting announcements. Of course, as well, in budget 2014, we are investing $3 million for innovative employment for strategy.
the Employment First strategy has been developed and we're looking for ideas, which is why we're here at this symposium. We need innovative new ideas for helping Albertans get the jobs they want. We need to learn from each other and to take those ideas back into our communities and put them into action. Premier Hancock, of course, as I said, is going to be here later on this afternoon to make a wonderful announcement. But many of the real changes can, will start with you. And of course, it's going to start in your communities. As employers, you need to ask, what is stopping you from tapping into a pool of skilled workers who happen to have a different ability? As co-workers, you need to think, what can I do to make my work environment more supportive and inclusive? And of course, as Albertans, we need to redefine our expectations of people with disabilities in a way that is more open and accepting. It will take all of us working together to create a province where everyone who wants to work and is able to work. This symposium will help launch this collaboration that will create the cultural shift that is very much needed. So again, thank you so very much for your participation here today. Once again, I look forward to your ideas. Please enjoy the symposium. Have a wonderful morning and have a wonderful rest of the two days. Thank you so much.